Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense, and today I want to go over my battle belt setup. Uh, I have this belt. The belt itself is from Blue, Blue Alpha Gear, uh, made for Warrior Poet Society, as you can see right there. Uh, <clears throat> got this belt because it has the Velcro system, much like a duty belt or a, a security belt or something like that. Uh, it has an outer belt that has a hard Velcro and then an inner belt with soft Velcro. So you put the inner belt on uh, and then the outer belt, of course, Velcros to the inner belt. And that is why I ended this system. Uh, I wanted a belt that wasn't going to shift around on me. I wanted one that was going to lock in place once I put it on and not move. Uh, and that is why I went with this one. If you want a battle belt, that does have that Velcro system, those are just fewer and far between. There just aren't that many on the market that I've discovered. Uh, and this was one of them. And this was one of the major reasons I ended up going with this belt. Because again, I want to put it on, I want it to lock into place and not move on me. And it has done that. It has done that very successfully. Uh, and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, on the front, it's got a Cobra buckle, right? Those things are indestructible, as I'm sure everybody knows. Uh, it comes with this extra elastic loop here to keep up all your extra belt. Um, one gripe, you know, I mean, I know they got to put their fancy little tag on here. I wish they could have put that somewhere else. I personally would have liked the extra couple rows of Molly. I know that's being nitpicky, but would have enjoyed it. Uh, it is just a two row of Molly belt uh, all the way around, or two rows of Molly on the belt all the way around. Uh, coming first in line here, of course, you have your, your wonderful pistol, blaster, your sidearm, whatever, uh, Glock 17, TLR1. T-Rex Arms holster. This holster was originally black or gray, something like that. Uh, and then I spray painted it kind of green and tan to try to get a cool matching effect so all my stuff matches. My wife made fun of me. Uh, coming back around here on the right hand side, this is blank right now. I might eventually add in a dump pouch, uh, mostly for admin purposes or to put in some empties on the range or whatever. I know it's on my right hand side. You know, typically that's, that's not where we're gonna put a dump pouch, right? Uh, so mostly for admin use uh, and not for actual you know, combat use or, or however you wanna put that, whatever. Uh, also might put a multi-tool back there because hey, it's always nice to have a multi-tool. Back here, this is a med pouch. This is my medical gear. Uh, this is a AR-500 armor pouch. Uh, like the pouch, the pouch itself, so it, it's got this primary Velcro on the front here, right? To feel the Velcro. Ironically, this is much harder to take off here than it is when it's, when it's behind you. When it's behind you, you can just grab this tab and rip up, and it rips up pretty easy. Uh, and then this whole pouch disconnects and comes off. Now, it comes out, and there's your little medical gear, right? So this is what you pull out, and you can start pulling your tourniquets and your bleeder kit and your chest seals and whatever out of here. Now, I will say the one thing I did not initially like about this pouch and I was able to fix, I can put this back in here, was that on the back here, what would happen is often you would Velcro it in and then the back would come undone and lean forward like this on you and dirt and grime and dust and whatever would get all stuck in here. So what I, because it only came with, if you can see this here, so there's one Velcro loop here and one here. And that was it, that was all there was to hold it, hold it in so it would stay next to your body. And that just wasn't enough. When you're moving and grooving, whatever, it would come undone. So I added uh, these extra two things of Velcro here. And so now, since I've done that, it's stayed. Like it doesn't, it doesn't move, it doesn't flop open. Uh, you know, AR500, if you're listening, I would appreciate it if you would add those, add those in, in future versions. Just need a little bit more support here. Great pouch, great setup, whatever. Wish that it wouldn't flop open. I like all my stuff to stay tight to me. Minor criticism, I'm not disappointed I paid money for it or whatever, but that would be a good fix. Uh, four rolls of Molly. It came with these two uh, Malice clips, which are the, the light versions. Uh, much easier to thread. I like that. That was that was nice. Save me some time. Uh, on the front here, you have an elastic loop so that you can tuck this in and under if you want. And then these, these kind of two rows, you can attach stuff to it there, or whatever. Uh, moving around. Uh, here we got a flashlight. This is a Surefire PX, PLX7. I don't know. It's the one with the, the uh, ring here so you can syringe grip it, right? Uh, so that one's got that on there. HSGI holster, HSGI pistol mag pouch. 
is what this is. Uh, I got that because I was not very satisfied with a lot of the options I saw for handheld Surefire light holsters. Um, so I went with this, which is kind of more of a multi-purpose deal, right? You could put a multi-tool in there, you could put a pistol mag in there. I will say, as you're seeing right now, re-indexing this light uh, is not the easiest in this holster, so that, that's kind of annoying, because those HSGI pouches tend to, tend to kind of close up a little bit. Uh, but it, it is nice for holding multiple items. Like I said, right now it holds a light. That's what I intended for. If I really wanted to, I guess I could put another pistol mag in there if I thought I needed that, or a multi-tool, or, or whatever. Um, but that's why I got it was for the light and because again it's the best holster system I found for a light if I find something better I'd be willing to replace it uh, coming around here I have my ammo right that's important so I got two for my rifle I have two for my rifle here because one uh, when I teach and or take classes uh, it's nice to be able to have two on my person and one on my gun Three mags is probably going to get you through any drill or set or whatever that, that an instructor is going to teach. So it's kind of nice to just be able to have those three in my person and not have to wear kit if I don't want to. Uh, these are the Kiwi uh, S, S Attack, S, I can't say that word, uh, pouches, right? So they have that plastic insert on the inside, which is nice. So they re index easily uh, and retain the mags well. I and mean, if I tilt this over, right, give it a shake. Right, those mags aren't coming out. So it's nice that uh, they have great retention, and I like that they stay open and they can re-index easy. That, that's that's great. Um, again, multi-cam to match to be cute. Uh, and then again, I have two more for the pistol. Right, so two for my pistol, two for my rifle. Uh, moving over here, I have uh, my gloves, uh, and this is just a cheap non-weight bearing plastic carabiner thing, probably cost like eight cents to make. Uh, we can't trust it to hold anything but my gloves, maybe some chem lights, whatever, if I wanted to kind of do some admin work to, to put something on there. But the only purpose it serves is really just to keep my gloves with my kit so I don't lose it. Uh, coming around lastly, of course, I have a TDI uh, K-Bar knife. Uh, this is just some holster I found on Amazon. There's a whole cottage industry that makes holsters for that knife. It's a very popular knife. And I wanted a knife on my belt, right, and just in case I needed that for whatever reason. Uh, and so that's it. That's, that's my battle belt system. I uh, hope you like it. I guess I don't care if you don't because it's mine. It's not yours. You can set yours up however you want. Uh, hopefully this gives you some ideas about what you want to do with your system. And uh, I'm always looking at other people's battle belts all the time just to see if it jives with what I'm trying to accomplish. Other than that, uh, like, comment, subscribe, do brave deeds, and endure.